And it definitely looks like we're going inside the hole. Big hole. Uh, uh, Argon? Argon? He's fine. He's, he's Argon? Fine. He's fine. <laughs> Argon? <laughs> uh, Argon teleported. Hey, he's good. Argon is Enderman confirmed. Yeah. Which means we're technically in the Minecraft world. Confirmed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Mammoth Swine. Oh, wait, no, it's a dick flip. They look like Mammoth Swine from the back. Oh! Boy. It's two. Oh, it's another one of those. Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, well, I see the lab. Oh my gosh, look at those huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the fist is down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright, team. Watch your selfie. Let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place is like something from a whole other world. Makes it feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me, or do crystals here give off the same glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We've got to go all the way down. Is this actually a thing I interact with? No. Oh. No, you can't interact with it. Damn. That's oh, wait. I might be able to catch you. Alright, get over here, bitch. I'm catching you. Don't die. Never mind. I'm not catching it. Uh, wait, is that a metal hydrogen? Mm -hmm. Yo, that actually looks sick. I'm gonna try Snarl since it's my lowest. Okay, so yeah, I can just hit Snarl a bunch of times and I'll be fine. Yeah, you're not gonna damage me much. Just need to get it low enough that I can catch it. Damn, this is going to take a while. God damn it. Okay, good. None of us attacked. <laughs> oh, there goes Frost. Oh, 
Okay. Are you shiny? What do you mean? I found another shiny. Oh, good for you. I've yet to see one. Oh, I don't want to lose this bitch. Please catch. Got it. Yeah. Lucky you. It's a Garaparig. It had a blue nose. God, they need to add back the shiny sound when you find a shiny. Don't they do like the star thing? No, they don't do the shine. Uh, they do the shine thing when you interact with the shiny, but they don't do it out in the overworld anymore. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that they're gonna add it back because a lot of people, like, especially people with color blindness, are like struggling with it, with shiny uh, hunting. So a lot, they're they're speculating they're gonna add the animation back or at least a sound effect or something. Come on, get caught, bitch. But holy shit, I should have shaved, uh, should have saved before I interacted with it, because... Damn it! Bad. Stay caught in the <laughs> Pokeball. I don't have a dust ball. That's my third shiny of the game. <laughs> Just randomly finding one. <laughs> Come on! Get caught in this net, bitch. Okay, that did not work. Right, that's for water type. The net? No, net is actually for bug types. It's for both. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's for water and bug, and... You, you, they aren't bug. You don't know that. Oh fuck, wait, that means because I caught a shiny egg, that means I can see what its shiny evolved form looks like. Ooh, I'm so hyped. Oh my god. I was trying to say Uh, you don't- you don't have one. The well, Pokeball won't work. I don't have any right. good Pokeballs. The, the you catch know what I mean. it. Right? Why? Use the Pokeball. Yeah, it, it has very low success rate stuff. at this- at that high level. For this type of Pokeball. See? Very low success rate. Well, you have so many, you might as well. Try. Funnily enough, I've caught, like, legendaries with a regular Pokeball. Yeah, so. yeah I caught- I caught a fucking, um, I caught Rayquaza with one fucking Pokeball. Well, they have low success rate, which is why I prefer the Ultra Balls. But I ran out. Try the Nest Ball. I don't. That, that's... Oh, oh! Fuck. Okay, you were close. That's for Pokemon that have lower levels than your Pokemon. What? No, I don't think that- this small is not that. Yeah? Pretty sure that's not what that is. Here, let me- Wow, and it immediately got caught. <laughs> Told you. I thought the net- I'm pretty yeah, sure the nest ball. ball was like for bug types, mainly only. Used to catch wild Pokemon more likely to succeed against lower level Pokemon. Uh, the Iron Juggalus, the Paradox Pokemon. It's possible that Iron Juggalus. Right, this is why you. This is why you read the descriptions of the Pokeballs. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. It's possible that Iron Juggalus, an object described in an old book, may actually be this Pokemon. No. Nah. Is this even in a Pokedex? Oh yeah, it is. Well, we got one of the new Pokemon. 
That's obviously a Pokemon flower thing right there. I wanted to get that Deli bird, but apparently my Pokemon's too strong. Here we go. And get the robotic Deli bird. I'm gonna try to snarl. Oh, I cannot hurt him anymore. <laughs> Got him. The iron bundle. Which is the, another Paradox Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious object mentioned in the old book. There are only two reported sightings of this Pokemon. Well, I killed one of them. <laughs> Wait, can you breed the iron, iron Pokemon? No. Oh, you can't? You have to catch them. I was thinking like like the Masuda method. Wait, what was that Pokemon you just passed? Oh, that yeah, one. Yeah, they I... had a different colored face. Wait. This one? No. Oh no, never mind. No, that's just a random Pokemon. There's a lot of them. I'm looking for the iron ones that are just mainly the <coughs> important ones to find. Down here. I know there's an iron Gardevoir. Oh, here's where you're supposed to get the gibbles. You can get the gibbles anywhere. Like, especially in cave areas. Uh, well, the high-level gibbles. Okay, I see a TM over there, and I'm going straight for it. Like how they said, there's only two sightings of the... Iron Deli Bird, and I've seen a whole bunch of them. I guess definitely well, only duh. two sightings. Well, duh, there's normal, most people won't be down here, so of course they wouldn't have more sightings. Also, fun fact the books that you find in the labs, the blue books, uh, you can actually read them and they talk about terrestrializing. Yeah. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Because there's a big rock in our way. Am <laughs> I supposed to interact with it? No. Far? Oh, there's another robot hydrogen. Maybe we weren't supposed to go this way, which is quite possible. Where are those little teeny things? Those must be the babies of that that thing right there. That's cute. So does that mean uh, Gita has something to do with Area Zero? Who? Oh, the probably. Champion. Uh, or that Pokemon arrived on the surface, like the others. Yeah, I was supposed to go down here. Now, what type of iron Pokemon am I going to fight this time? Oh, I swear if it's the fucking Gardevoir. Probably going to be the Gardevoir. Oh, I can't go in here. Oh, now I can. There we go. <laughs> oh, damn. 
Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Gah, Professor, you, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here is all busted up? I'm... I'm sorry. Hello, children. Got my gun? I'm so sorry, so sorry, so so I'm so sorry. Hello, ch children. Hello. Hello. What? What the heck? St stop that. You're creeping us out. Hello. Hello, hello ch children. Yeah, children. Ch ch children. Oh, fuck. I actually did the wrong thing. Children, children, children. Initiating restart. The professor must be. The professor must be, be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. I'm gonna push the button. All locks are disabled. Ah, ah, ah. Hello? Can you hear me now? Please for, for, forgive me, my, my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it what that was. What do you mean, Ar Argon? The locks have all been disabled. At last, please make your way now to the, to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Okay, yeah, you can't interact with Pokeballs. Where would you like to go? The zero gate. I'm gonna guess you're gonna go get Pokeballs. Wait, what? Oh, do I need Pokeballs? Well, if you're gonna catch anything. I got plenty of Pokeballs. God damn it. Research for turn number four. I had to go. To, I I didn't know. I thought I had to use that to go where I needed to go. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Let's progress further down then. I'm supposed to go over here, but I'm going over here anyway to collect shit. Well, instead of fighting a deli bird, I have to fight a jigglypuff. Really? Mm-hmm. Called Screamtail. Oh my god, that's cute. Set our version exclusives. Yeah. Kinda sucks you can't breed them due to shiny Masuda method. Or do you actually know for certain you can't breed them? Well, I don't know. I know they don't have previous... Uh, I know they can't evolve and they don't have previous evolutions. Then they... Then you probably just have to breed them for ditto.
I haven't seen a robotic Gardevoir. Which is the one I want to see. Unless that's the one you're going to see. Instead of Hydra. No, you're going to see the robots. You see the robots, I see the old Oh, dinosaurs. that's right. Wait, are the dinosaurs part of my Pokedex that I have to get? Yes. Okay. I have to trade some to you, and you have to trade some to me. Got Shadow Ball. That would have been useful earlier in the game. Oh, I already have Shadow Ball as a, a move for uh, Grand Inferno. <laughs> no, I mean as a TM. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling I shouldn't have opened the locks. There it is. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real. Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff. Thought they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure. You see, right before you is the Zero Lab. That's... That's where you are, right, Professor? But, wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building has been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Argon. Professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed. They may, though, not many know it. Since you've disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should be open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted by the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. With the f with with the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then. Open the gate. You've got me and Aaron Bright here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Heh. <laughs> Alien, that puts my worries to rest. This is probably where we fight the Guard of War. Probably. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally at the cups of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maridon help? Yeah, if Maridon were like how we first saw it in Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. 
Uh, but it hasn't wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica to be found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of, ball, out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to, f to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Argon. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Aaron. Let Mariah on out. Alright, Aaron. Come on. I mean, alright. Come on, Aaron. Now we got Mariah on ready. It's time to open that gate. Oh, fuck. Oh. Family reunion. It's happening. Whoa. No way. That doesn't look like a family reunion. Oh, he's so sad. No, something's not right. That one was not like people. Anti-social. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion really got cut off so quickly? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Mariadon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess the other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry about a thing. Any of that. Once, once we get back into your battle form, I'm sure you're going to, you'll be going toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. Sorry, guess that doesn't really help, huh? You think that mo other Mariadon was one of the dangerous Pokemon Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? You, you mean from inside the gate we just... What the? Got surrounded. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to throw out a friendly welcome, Matt. There's no way we can handle this many. You don't tell me they're all future Pokemon. We got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Aaron. Let's do this together. We're taking them down one at a time. Oh 
Wish I could catch it. That was easy. Now they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Gah, why are they coming at me? Aaron, help me out here. Why just one? What the fuck? No. I did some damage. Oh my gosh, I nearly killed her Pokemon at one blow. And it was defeated. God, the future must be terrifying. Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, they're... We're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after him, Penny. Why me? Wait. Ah, what all pneumonia? Why do I have to get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up, it's up to us to deal with with that. Let's go to the strong looking one first. Luckily I caught this one already, so I already know what's weak to. You can't hurt me with Hyper Voice. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, all thanks to our Titan hunting together. Still scared, huh? You already might have to face that other one if you can. Well then, let me get, take on some of the burden. Those stri stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabosif can take them. So, Aaron. Take your partner there and go take care of the business. <laughs> Glad to see you have some faith in us at last. Mabosif can't wait to battle either. Maraidon. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits make me feel any better about it. You got amazing powers if you just use them. And you've got us too, so... So so don't even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave and sta stand up and fight. Can't ride my ride on here. Okay. Human presence detected within zero lab. What 
the fuck? Deactivating sleep mode. Yep, I knew it. He's a fucking robot. Yeah. Hello, Aaron Bright. Thank you for coming. No. Back to your ball. Oh, the Master Ball. That one is far less track tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Here, Mariadon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Toro. I am, an, I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, embedded with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered unit. The real prof hmm? It was imbued. Oh, imbued. Whatever. Unembedded. Yeah, whatever. The, the real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed Research station number four. The Pokemon is not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor, nothing, no, nothing more than for the Mariadon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Mariadon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Cl Clavicle and asked him to put in contact with you. Clavicle, oh wait, with you. I am never, I was never more than an AI. Aaron, the reason I asked you, you to come to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine. The original professor created Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Booster energy. And I don't have my performance certain abilities. Oh, well. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step aside. Aaron Bright, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. 
I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Argon, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A, a computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by his by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that made up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They, als they are also why I cannot Leave this place. Yes. Yeah. The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Pro Professor Toro had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you would call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power of power has proved too terrible. Their existence brings destruction to the, the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor must say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At, pr at present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Parmesan. But but we've begun to see Pokemon appear that that can break the barrier, such as iron treads. Eventually they'll break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Parmesan region. And when they do the rich and varied ecosystem of Parmesan will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Aaron, Aaron, you, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Toro once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help.
Oh, there's a Pokeball on the ground again. Apparently that's on every floor, so I think that's supposed to be there. I think it's supposed to be there. Hmm. It's on every floor I've every building I've been in, so I think it's supposed to be there. Anyway. We have reached the lowest level. Oh shit, this is trippy as fuck. <coughs> Behold. This is the time machine. We perfectly use we, we perfect perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within that violet book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book, of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the violet book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you, if you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are fearless. They are built upon analysis of all, ba all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Parmesan region. Haven't seen the bond between you and and your Pokemon. However, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. All right, I'm about to whoop your ass. Be confirmed. Professor Toro. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Aaron Bright. AI Toro switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please. Defeat me. At, at last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. I feel bad for the AI. Mm -hmm. That means that the actual Professor Toro was was the bad guy, in a way. Or just didn't live long enough to realize what they were doing was dumb. Yeah. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Yeah, it's not very effective. Ah, 
God damn it. Ooh, that did decent damage. I did not mean to hit it again. God damn it. <laughs> one hell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal. Probably closer to 10 or 20. Iron Thorns. Oh, I think that's the Guard of War one. No. Nope. Big boy. I want to heal. So I can get rid of this damn paralysis. Yes, good job, Grand Inferno. It's not very effective. Shit. Then I'm gonna say now Garchomp then. I mean Lemon. I keep forgetting Lemon's name for some reason. It's Lemon's ground, so he won't be affected by Stone Age. Yeah! That's right, bitch. Liquidation. Super effective. Oh, that hurt. That's fine. The men took it in there. Yeah, fuck you. Iron bundle. That's the, uh, what was it called? Yeah, him. Yeah, that one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bundle. Penguin boy. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's banned and competitive. Oh, hi, Bookworm. Yeah, the crater was weird as fuck. Yeah. Iron Juggalus. Okay, which I believe was that Hydrogen guy, so Fairy. Should do well. Go, Eris. I believe in you. How many Master Balls do they have? Gee. Six, I'm guessing. Oh, shit. Of course you know Flash Cannon. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Iron hands. Let's send out the chonk. I believe in the chonk. Cause I know if I'm if I do believe I it is what I think it is. Yep. Then Gardevoir we got in her her ass kicked. Fuck you! I hate that damn move so much. Oh, come on! That's some bullshit. 
Make me flinch twice, you jackass. Really? Right, guess what I have a special form of in my game. I really don't care. I'm concentrating I'm right now. Fuck! Let's heal. Chong can take another hit. As long as they don't fucking flinch. Of course you do another fucking critical. God damn it! I fucking hate that flinching shit. Come on! Seriously? Every single time I go to use a fucking move, they say it flinched. Ah! Swear to fuck. Yes, fuck you! Fuck you. Still not as bad as the Ultra Beast, but fuck you. I don't think I have anyone... Well, I can try in, but I don't think I have anyone good enough against Gardevoir, because I think that's the last one, which is Gardevoir. You're on your last Pokemon, bud. Yeah. I like her design, though. Ice Fang. No. Okay. Then I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go over here. Kill you. Cause I think it's poison. They're weak too. I was just gonna throw in a hydro pump. Oh. And, and I didn't even get to fight. used flamethrower. What? No, that just because they're called iron stuff doesn't mean they're an iron type. Steel. Steel type. Or steel type, right? Steel. Only a few of them are. Not all of them are iron. Prepare to get fucked up by the chonk. The Chonk will hey, stop bye. you. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, fuck you. Super effective. And the Chonk wins. It, 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 impossible.
And I did it. Yep, GG, says Bookworm. I agree. I can't... Is this... No, this isn't the first time they've, like, said a character was killed off, right? No. Like, actually killed, not like they danced around it. Well, no, they did use an Arceus. They did mention being killed by Pokemon. Yeah. Anyway. Even the break. What? What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? Th th so thank you for right, ev everything. That time machine has finally, he, he has fi finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are ya? Oh, look how big you're, you've grown. So pr pr proud of y you, my. Sorry you were alone s so long. Are gone. Dad? S security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine deactivated. I mean, detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on now? Is there another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. Uh oh. An obstacle preventing, preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise product, Protection Protocol to remove fencing. What was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except register to Toro's ID. Wait, wait, what? Program initializing gathering terrestrial energy. I'm so, sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Oh. Wait, then how am I gonna fight back? Running. You are not getting away. Challenge by AI Toro. You are challenged by Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh, it's Mariodon. Oh, shit. Oh, that's... Oh, no. Can't battle the Pokemon on the field. It's sure, Pokeballs won't work. How are you supposed to, even supposed to battle? Oh. Mariadon. This is registered the Tor Taurus. I'm about, we're about to whoop your ass. That's right, motherfucker. Gym, uh, 
Electro Drift. Well, that's fine. I'm coming right at your ass. That did not do much. <laughs> it changed back to his battle form. Let's go, Maridon. You got this. Terror Blast? You all fail here in Scarn Paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Ah, oh, shit. Ow, that did a lot of damage. I can't, I'm not doing much damage to him. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles of my goal will be eliminated. That ain't good. Seems... This, this looks like really bad. Hang in there, Aaron. Maybe you're supposed to lose? That would make no sense. It was Hyper Beam? That's bullshit. Oh, he's at one health. Can it not? Oh, toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad. I don't think you're supposed to lose. No. You took the hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. And I can still use items, so that's good. Take this full restore, bud. I think you're guaranteed to win. Cause him right on much charge. Oh man, we can't put a win here. This doesn't look good. Hey, hey, run! Your terror, terror orbs glowing. Air bright, air bright, right on. Specialize and finish this off. Damn, all my stats are rising with Mariadon. Oh, hell yeah, bitch. You fucked up now. You can't take down me. Fuck you, bitch! You defeated the Paradise Protection Proto uh, Protocol. You did it! Is it... It's... It's not going berserk anymore? Ow. Ow. Very astounding. Do you think that you managed to defy even the original professor's final protections? Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, any fortitude to do what they have done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you'll be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. 
I thank you, Aaron Bright. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears as myself and part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? Huh? What, what, what does that mean? I am sorry. He has to see his dad die. In my game, he has to see his mom die. Hmm. You know, when I was watching you on all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envy you your freedom. The way that you came together, working in, in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourself throwing all you are into your battles. The way you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never cease to seek nor to fight for a treasure all on your own. Ah, and the way you soared free through the very skies, I wish on those wings of yours. I wish that I, too, might have been free as you all. Free to seek out with that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here. The time machine will not stop, for I am extrusively and connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going, only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that, that future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with, with the thrill of adventure? are gone. I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and I so understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You, you, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Argon, Maridon, Aaron. It is a little sad, but I am afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Damn. Well, he didn't die. Well, when you go to the past, there is no going back. Or I guess the future in this case. Wait, is yours also a cyborg? Yep. Uh. How could you just go? Dad. 
Arvin, you okay, bud? Also, it's not a cyborg, it's an AI. Cyborg means half human. All right. So what fucking type is this goddamn thing? Yeah, somewhere deep down. I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was a fake, but it... When it said my name, using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. That's, that's okay. I guess Maraidon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form. How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm going to die. Hey. Hey now, let's not skip over the big one here. Aaron, Bright, and Maridon just saved all of all of Parmesan. That, that's right. You both did amazing. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, that's my bud Aaron for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, but he, he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own. Of his own in the future. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah. Sorry. What should we do now, Aaron? Yep, let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Are you supposed to destroy it? Well, he the AI was connected to the time machine, so with the AI gone, the time machine can't be connected or activated. So as long as he's gone, there's nothing to worry about. It's just a black screen. I'm totally happy about this. Don't you just love black screens? It's probably loading. I love black screens so very much. Do I need to hit a button? Oh, I had to hit A. God damn it. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take a long road home. And a little bit more fun out of the adventure. I don't really... Sounds, gr sounds great. You can hold up snacks first. I'm in. Hey, Eric, right, right, not you two. Oh, alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. Wait, there's English voice acting song at the end? Oh, it's an Ed Sheeran hey. song, if I remember correctly. Oh shit, should I turn it off? I don't know. Yeah, probably. I just turn off music. Um, that was a cute ending. Yeah, the music is, the song is really good.
Oh, the paradox Pokemon cannot be bred. Mm. So shiny honey gnome is gonna be harder. Yep. Kinda sucks I can't let the music play because copyright. Also, so you know how yours went purple, mine goes red. That's pretty cool. Oh. So now, since I defeated the story... All that's left for me to do now is complete the Pokedex. Yep. Oh, is it over? Yeah, it's over. That sheer song's over, so I can bring that back in. Yippee! I'm surprised that it opened up with that, though. So there's, I haven't seen a single Pokemon game that ever had an English opening, the song, at all. It's really odd. Now I gotta sit through all these credits. I'm gonna leave for right now. Alright. Might come back later though. Okay. Bye. Apparently, so the variants were your game. Uh, the shinies are really, really not good. <laughs> they just turn, like, a chrome white-ish color. Oh, that's cute. Oh, That's adorable! 